the comic the end. What is up besties? It is your girl Carmen DF back to you again with another video. This time, if you've been living under a rock and you haven't heard this story, I'm covering Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I'll sum it up for you real quick. Basically, her mother um, Munchausen syndromed her so that she could get a lot of fame and money. And so she allegedly nixed her mother, which as you should, Queen, allegedly. Um, but that being said, I wanted to look at the dynamic of her and her now husband, um, making sure if it's healthy or not healthy and just, you know, her as a whole, how's she doing? So as always, if you enjoy these readings, please give it a like. It really does support my page. Hey to my regulars. Hey besties. Hope y'all are doing well. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. We'd love to have you here. Um, thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a great, free, easy way to support my channel. But as always, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All the links are down below. If you'd like to book a private reading, all the links are down below. And as always, this is alleged and for entertainment purposes only. But let's get into it. All right, bestie. So we're going to take a look at Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her husband. I just want to make sure that she did not leave toxic to get into toxic. So as always, this is alleged and for entertainment purposes only, mama. No facts here. Okay. So let's get started, spirit team. Please tap me into the energy of Gypsy and her husband. I, I'm hearing knight in shining armor. Does this guy have like a, a savior complex? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm already getting. I wonder if he has a tendency. Yeah, I'm being drawn to my rose quartz. I wonder if he has a tendency of like low self-esteem and so he it, it feels like i've broken bird syndrome like i i want to yeah because i'm hearing the song i'm Supergirl and i'm here to save the world and i want to know who's going to save me this feels like someone who has low self-esteem low self-worth and so he finds his self-worth in the in helping others basically so basically it's it's giving the vibe of like someone who doesn't know how to focus on their own shit and so they're going and trying to save someone else i think he's got a savior hero complex i think that helps with his self-esteem especially because you know he got the girl that everybody was like following you know so i think that this was kind of like a a boost to his ego because it's like i see you i want to save you like i'm hearing the song i could be your hero baby um I don't hate it. Uh, it's not the worst energy. At least it's not coming off as manipulative. But that being said, would he like her if she wasn't a broken bird? You know what I mean? So I don't know. Let's see. What is their relationship like today? <laughs> okay. Um. Hold on before I say anything. Shit. Why are men, honestly? <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, I want to say that Gypsy's obviously been through a lot of trauma, right? Her mother did the whole Munchausen thing to her. She's been through a lot. Of, that's all she's ever known. So I think that um, she can, she has a tendency to lash out um, because she just doesn't know how to be an adult. She, she was never taught how to be an adult. She was never taught how to even know who she is. And so the energy that I'm getting from her is like, I, I feel like there are moments in their relationship when she's like, don't talk to me like that. Don't tell me what to do. Don't touch me. Don't do th like it's very defensive, feral cat energy. And I did look up. I believe she's a Leo. Well, that's what we're going with, because that's what I found. If I'm wrong, whatever. But with Knight of Wands in the reverse, I just feel like she still has a young mindset. And with the tower in reverse, it's like trying to restructure, but not really having a solid sense of self. With that five of coins following right after, it's like victimhood, which we're not really shocked, right? She, she's she been a victim her whole life. And so I think that he unintentionally triggers her because it, I just keep hearing the song, I could be your hero, baby. Um, but she doesn't want a hero. She wants peace. And she doesn't know how to find that because she's never learned how to be any form of adult like I'm seeing all ages of her life where it's always like like I think she had to grow up fast obviously because she had a mother that was very toxic I looked it up she was a Taurus that was not shocking at all the way that she went after money the way that she did and in, in disregard to her child but that being said Gypsy has not healed from this 
And so everything feels like a threat because when we don't deal with our trauma, we're going to unintentionally attract things that are going to mirror those wounds. And you notice how like this person kind of has a mask, right? I feel like he he tries to save her because he's again, he's got this hero mindset where it's like if if I can fix you, then I'm worthy. If I can heal you, then I'm worthy. But the problem is like she needs to figure out who she is first before she could, you know, love somebody else because she doesn't know how to love herself. She's never been taught that she was worthy of love. She has been in a jail ever since she was freed. Like she doesn't know what being humans like. You know what this gives me the same vibe of like someone that has been homeschooled their whole life and had like a really um smothering upbringing by their parents and then they're kind of like let loose into college and they're like I I'm awkward because I don't know how to be around others I feel like that's kind of gypsy at this point in time and so with this king of coins that feels like him it's like let me give you stability let me give you a life let me give you your independence let me give you your freedom I want to save you at all costs but the problem is Gypsy finds everything to be a threat. Like, I'm seeing Britney Spears in my mind's eye. It's like when Britney got out of the conservatorship and everybody was like, why is she acting crazy? Like, dude, she's been controlled and manipulated her whole life. Give her some time. You know what I mean? It's the same kind of vibe. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to be human. She has no idea who she is. She has no idea what it means to be free. She doesn't even, it's like, she she's never experienced freedom so now that she's free it's like what what's it yeah i'm hearing the song from christmas before christmas whatever the hell that movie's called what's this what's this there's something very wrong it's like she's looking for problems that aren't there so i do feel like which sucks but i feel like she kind of takes him as a punching bag sometimes i think occasionally like he he just he can't do anything right if i'm being honest with you but that's because it, it she's coming from a place of trauma so that being said i don't feel like he is toxic i don't feel like he's you know like trying to make a name for himself or you know trying to like get some press this is honestly about him trying to prove his self-worth through saving somebody he's got a savior complex i'm being drawn to an ex of mine that had a savior complex it's very much like i can fix you i can heal you then it'll prove that i'm worthy but this girl is so i just keep seeing like a feral cat in my mind's eye she does not she needs to figure out what independence means to her and i feel like yeah i'm hearing the song much like suffocating i feel feel like he is just like enmeshed in the idea of love it's giving me pisces energy a little bit of sagittarius with sagittarius with the um like ooh, like kind of like walking on eggshells a little bit like i don't want to cause any problems i don't want to cause any commotion i would not be shocked if this this guy has a history of people pleasing because that's kind of what i'm feeling she's kind of the one that wears the pants in this relationship if i'm being honest which Thank God, because I I hate I would hate to see her being taken advantage of again. But that being said, um, not healthy, not a healthy relationship. Are we shocked? But let's pull more cards. Yeah, retrospection. Uh oh. I think this relationship's already failing. If I'm being honest with you. Because the hermit's like solitude. It's the need to like find oneself. And then four of wands is like an unhappy unha home life and environment. Eight of coins. That's work in the reverse. It means not working. You know what I mean? And then problematic professionalism is on this, perfectionism is on this card. I feel like, again, he's just, he's trying to save her, trying to save her, trying to save her. But the problem is she needs space to find herself. And I feel like he's smothering. It's like... <clears throat> Honestly, as a Leo, I can kind of relate to this a lot. I need a lot of space. I need to find myself. I don't need you to build me up. I need to do it myself. When other people build us up, we have a, we don't have a solid sense of self. And that's the problem. She doesn't know who she is. And he's like, well, maybe if I give her the home, maybe if I give her the money, maybe if I, you know, remind her of who she is. But the problem is she has no idea who that is. So, um... If this relationship lasts forever, I would be shocked, to be honest with you. I think that she would kind of kick him to the curb once she tries to find out who she is. Again, I just, I keep feel I'm in her energy and it's like, can you leave me the hell alone? Can you stop touching me? Can you get off my case? Like, you're, you're suffocating me morning to night. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. Outside of, you know, being locked away, I think that she felt more freedom in prison than she did with him. Because at least, like not she didn't have someone up her ass and I think that's how she feels with him it's like just get away from me I've been I've been suffocated my whole life somebody has been attached to me my whole life and and now you're doing the same thing but that's the thing he's not he's just he's insecure so it's like give me give me give me attention give me affection give me this give me that love me love me and she's like dude I'm just trying to find myself you know what I mean so um 
That being said, if they did break up, I would definitely guarantee that would be Gypsy. Gypsy would be like, yeah, this, this is just not working for me, especially with the way that the um, media is making her money unintentionally. I don't think that she wants that. Honestly, I, I'm seeing like a bird out of a cage. It's like, I just want to be free. But that being said, I think if she were to get enough money to be able to leave him, she probably would, if I'm being honest with you. I think that he was, because I'm hearing the song Lean On Me, so I think when they were, like, talking in jail, it was nice because, remember, like, you you only have mail, but you're not being suffocated. You have a life of your own, and I think she was starting to learn who she was to an extent. I don't know what her story was in the jail, but it wouldn't shock me if, like, she did, like, arts and crafts and went to, like, classes, if you could go to classes or anything like that, because it's like, I'm trying to figure out who the hell I am, and it's just, like, it's almost like I feel somebody breathing down my neck. It's like, leave me the hell alone. So, honestly, I think she has a tendency to lash out at him. But I don't think he understands what boundaries even is. So, I don't think she's entirely in the wrong. I think she is unintentionally taking out a lot of her anger on him that isn't necessarily about him. But he needs to learn how to be understanding and know that, like, I, you already got her, dude. So, like, if she needs space, give it to her. I feel like he's just, he's a stage five clinger. That's what I'm hearing. He's a stage five clinger, and that's not what she needs, especially as a Leo. Like, we don't like that shit. Like, we don't. I, I mean, I can't speak for all Leos, but I don't like that. So, I feel like that's the same place. Yeah, because I'm hearing Miss Independent by Neo. She wants to just know who she is. It's very much, I'm seeing Britney when she dances in her Instagram. It's like, I just want to have fun and figure out what it means to live. She's never figured out what that is. And he's just another person that's like, you're suffocating me. So I think it started off very well. I think, you know, whatever the letters were that he was sending, I think he said all the right words and it made her feel like she mattered and it bigged her up as a Leo. We love words of affirmation. So like, it's not shocking that that was the initial like pleasing aspect where it was like, oh, this feels good. Someone notices me. Somebody sees me. I think that's what she liked about it. But then when it came to like real world and all this attention and affection and validation, it's too much. You know what I mean? She's got an emotionally avoidant kind of energy because it's like, I can't trust yet. Give me a reason to trust. Don't suffocate me. Let me meet you at my own terms. It's like a cat. You know what I mean? If you have a cat, cats, they have to come to you. And people that don't like cats don't like boundaries. So to my people that are trying to, you know, date, See how they feel about cats, because that'll tell you something about them. Um, but it's like a cat. It's like you got to let them come to you. That's what she needs. It's like, give me the space and I'll come to you. But he doesn't know how to do that. So I just, I see this this r relationship imploding, if I'm being honest with you. I don't see anything good of this yet. Ace of Cups. Mm. Yeah, it's, it, it's, mm -mm. no, nope. sorry. Um, I think that it was good while it was in, um... While she was in jail, but now that she's out, it's too much. Yeah, because I'm hearing uh, Beyonce, till I realize I'm just too much for you. But that's how she feels. It's like, is she drinking or anything like that? Because I am being drawn to the to the drinking with the wine glasses and everything. Um, I almost wonder if she's trying to find ways to numb her emotions because I, I feel like she's almost gaslighting herself where it's like, what's wrong with me? Why don't I want this love? Why why is this too much for me? It's a lot of, which I, I love for her, it's a lot of self-reflection. It's a lot of like, when we used to talk, Ace of Swords in Reverse, when we used to talk, this felt good. But now it's like, I'm ready to detach myself. Like maybe I maybe I put this guy on a pedestal that he didn't deserve. What, and But then I think she's like beating herself up at the same time. I wouldn't be shocked if she has a, a Virgo placement somewhere where it's like, what's wrong with me? Why don't I, why don't I want this? Like everybody has these, the, these loving relationships. She's comparing herself to other people. And she's like, why, what's wrong with me? Like, I just keep hearing her say that. Like, why, why can't I love him back? But it's like, because you have no idea what love even looks like. Love for her has been conditional her whole life. And now, even though I wouldn't say he's coming in with like conditional love, it kind of is because he's very insecure. So if she has a bad day, I bet yeah, I almost see it like she has a bad day and then he's like, what did I do wrong? What's wrong with me? Blah, blah, blah. And now she's got to appease his ego. And it's like, dude, I don't fucking have time for your ego. I'm trying to figure out who I am. So this, I'm not in love with this relationship. It could have been worse, which is why I'm really glad that I pulled the cards because he's not coming at this from a place of like, what can you do for me? It's more like savior hero complex. Honestly, if anybody is trying to go after a Leo, this is exactly what not to do. Do not suffocate us. We don't like this. We like words of affirmation, but don't be up our ass. And that's the problem. I, I almost see them like in the house, right? I see them in the kitchen and him like trying to do something nice for her. But it's like 
so that he feels good about himself. There's strings attached. It could be worse, but there are strings attached. And then, you know, she has a bad day, a bad moment. She's like, just get the fuck away from me. And then he's like, why are you taking this so personally? Why are you acting like this? I'm just trying to love you. But here's the thing. She doesn't know what that looks like. So give her some space. Like, I'm in her energy and I'm irritated. <laughs> like, I'm just like, can you just piss off? Can you let me figure out who I am? Because I'm being drawn to, like, the pictures and it's like they're always together. It's like... The way I keep hearing the song, much like suffocating on repeat in my head, he's suffocating her. She's lashing out at him. He doesn't understand why because he's got a savior complex. It's this ace of cups is like, how can I save you? How can I do that? I wouldn't be shocked if like this is like the type of dude that like gives you breakfast in bed. But then like if you don't say the right things, it's like, why didn't you love me? I'm trying. It's like it, it, it's still coming with strings. That's the problem. And she's used to shit coming with strings. And so that's going to make her triggered because... That's exactly what she was trying to get away from. Even though he's coming at it from a less intense place, a less manipul... I mean, it's still manipulative because he's trying to appease his own ego instead of actually caring for her well-being. He's not caring about her well-being to the extent of actually listening to hear her. He's getting triggered, too, because it's hitting his wound of not feeling like he's enough. You know what I mean? So... I don't have the highest hopes for this. She is still really confused with who she is. But I keep being drawn to Britney Spears and Sam and how everybody was like, he's in control. And, and we were all like, no, no, Britney's in control. And sure enough, they, they end up splitting up. I, it, it feels very much like a Britney-Sam dynamic where she's actually the one in control. And he's trying to appease her. And it's like, yeah, it does come with like, you know, some stardom, whatever. But like, honestly, I think he's more concerned about her and how it makes him the hero in his story. You know what I'm saying? She's not dumb. Yeah, I... Uh, I'm hearing the song Fix You by Coldplay, and it's like, this isn't working. Like, why isn't this working? But then she's, like, beating herself up. But she's like, why is this not enough? Like, why, why do I feel... Very, very reflective, which I love that for her. That's good. That's healthy. But I just feel like she has a tendency to beat herself up. Like, why why can't I make this work? What's wrong with me? Especially because she had a mother that belittled her her entire life. That inner critic is always going to be really mean until she learns how to change it. You know what I mean? Because for so long, she's had a mother that was very disgusting towards her. And so that has become her inner critic. Even though she's separate from her parent, once that becomes your inner rhetoric, it doesn't matter if the person who did it is gone. It becomes your voice. And so that's the problem. She has this voice saying that, like, she's broken. She's damaged. She's not enough. She's this. She's that. And in reality, it's like, Bro, you just, you need to go to therapy and you need to find yourself. That's okay. Like, you've been through some shit. Give yourself some credit. Give yourself a break. But this man needs to stop suffocating her. So, if somehow Gypsy sees this, girl, you're not wrong. <laughs> like, I see it. I'd be exhausted, too. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to be vulnerable. Yeah, here's the mother. I'm trying to be vulnerable. But all these, yeah, I think that I almost see her having, like, nightmares. Like, I'm being drawn to, like... People with, with um, PTSD nightmares where, like, they reenact it, like, in at night. And, like, they, you can, like, hear them talking and stuff. I almost feel like there are times where she has really bad nightmares to the point where, like, he wakes her up. Because I'm being drawn to a, a show I watch called Medium where she, like, channels at night. Um, but I think she has bad dreams about her mom. And she'll probably, like, wake up in a hot sweat and then he'll be like, babe, are you okay? And she'll be like, don't touch me. Like, just get away from me. Like, she's very much like feral cat energy. And it's it's sad, honestly. And I just feel like she's not in a place to be in a relationship, which, duh. Like, she doesn't even know who she is. If you don't know yourself, you're not going to know what it is that you actually want in a relationship. And she doesn't know what she wants, but she needs that space to really be able to ground herself and be able to figure out who she is. He's not giving her that space because it's like, oh, my God, I finally have you. And he's just like romanticizing the whole thing. And it's just like, dude, chill. Like, we're real people. You know what I mean? But I think there's times of vulnerability. I just see her, like, having really bad nightmares. Yeah, it says lost in the past on this card. Smothering. What did I say? I feel like he smothers her. And th this trauma of her mom is just not gone yet. And are we shocked? No. But the problem is he's taking that personal. And that's that's where this is not healthy. I also feel like she has moments where she doesn't want to be with him allegedly in front of him purposes only, but she's like, 
would I be able to have a life of my own? I don't even know what that looks like. I'm just trying to figure out who I am. I want to. I think she does. I don't think she wants to be with him, y'all. I think now that she's physically with him, yeah, because I'm I'm seeing my oracle card, all that glitters, where it's like we what we thought it was versus yeah i'm seeing those image of like when you buy something versus what you get and it's like you know the dress looked good on the on the picture but you bring it home and it's like a, a burlap sack it's like he's he's smothering he's he's too much but she's like could i even support myself on my own could i even do this on my own like I'm still dealing with all this trauma. I'm not over it yet. I need somebody to have my back. I don't know what it's like to be on my own. But at the same time, it's like she's worried about finances. She's worried about her image. She's so worried about like, honestly, I don't think she even wants to be this level of famous. I think she likes the money that comes with it because like she wants stability because she's never had that. But I don't I think she'd be totally OK with not being talked about ever again, which I don't think I'll out of respect for her. I don't know that I'll do another reading. Unless it's like the breakup, then we'll just see if she's good. But um, that being said, I think that she's just trying to heal and move forward and figure out who she is. And I think that he's kind of getting in the way of that. And it's like, how do I get out of this? Now I got myself into another pickle. I that I have to say this. I know it's messed up. That being said, I don't think she's going to, you know, pew, pew. Like, I don't think she's going to do anything messed up to him. She's definitely in a more... Um, evolved place than she was when she was with her mother obviously in jail she got to kind of figure herself out a little bit but um yeah she's not happy in this relationship and he's just kind of like why and it's hitting his need to please ego yeah it's like well maybe I can make money out of this here she is I'm not happy how do I make how do I make lemonade out of lemons is kind of the vibe of this it's like I, at least I can make money but at the same time she's not happy because it's like I don't I don't know who I am. This is, I don't know, this is sad. This is a bummer. But it could have been worse. It's not a guy who was a, he wasn't going after her in terms of like, what can you do for me? It's more of like, savior, hero, victim complex. It's annoying, honestly. I'm annoyed with his energy. I'm annoyed being in her energy, feeling what he's like. It's, it's, I think she has a tendency to either lash out or just stay quiet because it's like, I don't really want problems. So how do I... How do I communicate in a way that will benefit me the most? Whether that's, you know, going on these interviews, making money, and then that can make me happy potentially, or whether that's telling him to kick rocks. Like, she's just in a very pivotal moment in her life. Back deck energy. Yeah, hangman. Eight of cups walking away. King of swords from him. She, she ah. I'm sorry, you're not going to sell me that they're in a happy relationship. They're not. If she had a choice, if she knew how to be a functioning adult, she would probably leave him. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like he tries to take charge in a in a nice way, though, not in a, a douche way. But like, I know how to be an adult. I've done this before, obviously. And so let me teach you. But the problem is like, you just got to give her room to figure it out on her own. And he's not doing that. He's just like, He's trying to feel like, I wonder if he feels emasculated in his life because it's almost giving me the vibe of like, I've, I wonder if he was bullied as a kid or something like that because it's like, she doesn't know how to be an adult and so I can teach her and so that can make me feel better about myself. But in reality, it's like, dude, you don't really have a solid sense of self either. So who are you to try and teach someone else? Isn't he a teacher? Oh my God, this dude has a fucking... He's got a savior complex, and I don't love it. I don't love it. It's coming from a place of insecurity, and that's where it's kind of triggering her. Because you have to remember, right, even though her mother was manipulative, that still comes from a place of insecurity. And so if that's what you've known your whole life, and then you attract somebody else who mimics that in some way, it's going to give you the skeevies, right? Because it still reminds you of what it is you're trying to escape from. And so because he's got an insecure attachment style and because the mother only had her daughter, she had an insecure attachment style. It's, it's kind of like re-triggering the old wounds for her. <clears throat> and so, yeah, she's going to burn this relationship to the ground because if he doesn't learn to figure out how to be a person outside of her, it, it, she's gonna she's gonna run she's got runner energy all over her yeah ten of coins my stability nine of wands it's like I, I this is exhausting I'd like to remove it but with strength in the reverse it's like I don't have the energy to walk away I don't I don't know if I even have the finances I don't know how to pay bills I don't know how to take care of myself it's like if you win the lottery right anybody who wins the lottery I think like in the first year or something they end up going bankrupt because you don't have the skills necessary to keep it 
you know, going. You, you're still in child mentality, and so you're just blowing that money. That's that's kind of the headspace she's in. It's like she's got the emo- – actually, she's very emotionally involved. i got to give her that. She doesn't give her enough credit. She learned how to be the adult very early on because her mother was not. You know what I mean? So – She's actually the more mature of the two in this relationship. The only problem is she gaslights the F out of herself because of the shit her mother put her through. Um, so anybody that's like, was she just, you know, I mean, do we really have to question why she did what she did? But to anybody that's like, was her mom? Yes. Yes. Her mom was an evil, cruel. Yeah, I'm seeing Cruella develop in my mind's eyes. She's evil. I'm seeing Cinderella. She's evil. There's there's no question about that. Um but with this relationship, honestly, it's a ticking time bomb for her because it's just like exhausted endurance, drained defeat, underlying instability. I mean, it says it on the cards. Like, if you don't believe me, believe the cards. She doesn't – she can't do this. It's not healthy for her. It's not good for her. He's exhausting. I'm exhausted in this energy. It's just like – she just wants to figure out who she is, and he's not really letting her do that because he's got to be up her ass 24-7 because that's how he feels good. And she feels good from space. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't have high hopes for this relationship. I think once she figures out how to be an adult and once she figures out how to trust herself, I think she would leave. If I'm being real with y'all, I think that she would leave this relationship in a heartbeat. I think it, it was good on paper, but now that she's out and she has her freedom, it's like, it's like even this new freedom comes with strings. Like, that's how she feels. It's like, I got to appease you now. It's like, when do I get to appease myself? You know what I mean? You can't just you can't just jump into a relationship after something that traumatic. It's not going to be good for you. And that's kind of where she's at. So I'm going to finish this with Love Oracles. And then we'll call it a day. Honestly, this could have been worse. I don't love it, but it could have been worse. Um, but I do feel like she wants to leave. I'm not going to lie. Because this guy is just like very... Wah, wah, wah. Please make me feel good about myself. Honestly, it's very whiny, and I can't blame her for feeling the way that she does. So, yeah. We are going to move on to the Love Oracles and get final information from Spirit. Um, if you haven't already, please like this video. It really does support my page. Thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. That's an easy way to support my page as well. Subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notification bell to see future videos. But let's finish this off with some Love Oracles. Yeah, they have um, mirroring energy. He is, um, this doesn't this doesn't mean twin flame, literally. He's not. Um, but it's giving the yin-yang because you see the little yin-yang. So she's emotionally avoidant. He's anxious attachment. And they're just triggering each other to learn how to balance each other out. It's a karmic -y type of relationship. Oh, oh, no, they're already, yeah, they're already, yeah. Yeah, karmic, see? I think that... Um, he lies to himself about this. Like, oh, we're meant to be. Like, I was drawn to her. I think he just, he lives in delusion. Is this due to Pisces? It's giving Pisces energy. I couldn't find his birthday, but it wouldn't shock me if he's got Pisces in his chart somewhere. Or Sag with that wishy-washy trying to please energy. Um, but Sagittarians, they're more like, they need freedom. He is more like suffocation. So maybe, yeah, I feel Pisces for his energy. But um. With Karmic, I don't, again, I don't buy that this relationship's going to last forever. I think the moment that she figures out who she is, she would want to get out of it. Yeah, it's like, I don't know who I am because my mother taught me who I was supposed to be. And now that I'm with you, I'm trying to figure out who I am. But now you're telling me who I'm supposed to be. And you're getting insecure. And now I have to feed and appease your ego. And when is it about me? Like... Honestly, I feel for this girl. She's giving Britney Spears 2.0, honestly. Yeah, I told you. They're, she's not in love with this dude. No. It was good when they were pen pals. It's not good in real life. Yeah, I think that she needs time. Does she have actual friends? Do we know? She needs, like, real friends. That's what she needs. She needs, like, connection. And I think that's that's why she liked him in the beginning because again it was just it was just writing right so we're just talking about ourselves it's like the beginning stages of the relationship the the talking phase when it's good it's good but then people show their true colors once they got you and i feel like once he had her it was like now appease my ego like i, I just oh my god i'm just yeah I, i'm trying not to drag anybody here addiction in the reverse hold on <laughs> yeah um i with the addiction in reverse um i'm a little concerned because i was drawn to the wine so is she drinking because i almost feel like she might 
have some escapism tendencies that she might be running to because she just feels like she's broken. Like, why? What's wrong with me? Why can't I love correctly? Why can't I? Honestly, I can't get Brittany out of my my head. It's it's very much like Brittany's story. It's like, now I'm learning to be independent, but I got you breathing over my neck and leave me the fuck alone. And it's just like trying to zone out, trying to figure out what I can do. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to be in a relationship. She shouldn't be in one, honestly. I'm gonna be real with you. Relationship's over. It's been over. I think it was over probably like, I don't know, spirit? (laughs) Probably like a week into after physically being together because it's just, I almost see her just like, ah! Ah, stop touching me. Get away from me. Don't do that. Don't touch. Like, she needs to, she needs to come to him. He's not letting her do that. He puts her on a pedestal, which she deserves. But when you put someone on a pedestal, then you see yourself as beneath. And so then you get insecure, right? So that's why we can't put people on pedestals because then we, we get triggered and we lash out. You got to see your, your peoples as equals. You can't project that. You know what I mean? Know your worth so that you don't worship somebody else. He put her on a pedestal that set them both up for failure. Yeah, risk. It, she just wanted to take a chance. Yeah, her insecurities are getting the best of her. I think that's why she's going to stick this out longer than it needs to be. Um, she's. I think she's starting to realize that, like, you know, maybe I'm not the problem. But she has moments where I, she's still got a lot of trauma. She she definitely has PTSD because I, I do see her having um, traumatic nightmares where, like, I'm waking up, I'm sweating, I'm waking up to screaming probably this girl has PTSD and this guy is just, he doesn't get it. He's taking it personal and it's stupid. Like boy, grow up. <laughs> like, Yeah. He's smothering her. That's literally what I said. Girl with the snake, boa constrictor energy. He's just, I wouldn't say he's a narcissist. I wouldn't say that at all. It's more, she, she has a tendency to care for others to her own detriment because that's what she learned because her mother forced her to be that way. But now that she's coming out of that, it's not that he's a narcissist, it's that he's wounded too, and she's triggering his wounds, so he's taking it personal. I'm just repeating myself at this point. Anything else? Yeah, they're not they're not being their real selves because they both have pain. Yeah. I don't think they heal each other. I think they trigger each other. Yeah, past memories are, are kicking her ass, but she wants to heal. I do love that for her. She wants to heal. She's she's very self reflective. She's very like uh, it's giving me the energy of like Scorpio, like trying to up level, reflecting what what went wrong. How do I not repeat this again? Very healthy for her. Honestly, she needs to give herself more credit. She's doing a lot of work, and I'm I'm actually impressed with this energy because she could have gone a different route. I am concerned with that addiction card though that she might have a tendency to try to numb herself because she feels like she's broken, but she's not. Yeah, I think she wants to figure out who she is. I think she wants to. It's like, it's like it's. You know what I'm seeing is like the arc in the in the hero movie where it's like you you're rooting for the guy that's never going to win and then in the end it's like they win because they got a good heart. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from her. It's like I think in the end she's going to figure out who she is. It's not going to be with him. I'm going to be honest. I I definitely see a divorce. I don't know when that'll come and it really it's up to free will. So if she feels like she has to commit to him because she still has that people pleasing tendency, she might stick around for a while, but that being said, I, with that Leo energy, I think she just, yeah. Meeting and convert. She needs friends. I don't know if she has any. I hope she does. I hope she's making friends because that'll be what, what gets her out of this. Yeah. The, the reason she's not leaving is stability. Stability, not trusting herself enough to be able to. Because, like, does she have an actual job? I feel like, I mean, she could end up just being an entrepreneur right off the rip because of how famous she is based on the case. But... I think she just doesn't know what independence looks like. And so she doesn't want to take that chance on herself because she's afraid that she'll fail. Like, it reminds me a lot of how they say that people that have been in jail for a while will kind of intentionally mess up to go back in jail because that's their comfort. You know what I mean? It's kind of that vibe. So I'm almost worried that she, I don't think she's going to, but it almost gives me the vibe of like, if all else fails, like, I'll just go back to jail because that made me feel safe. And that's kind of sad, you know, back deck. Yeah, I think she's starting to realize that even though he does give her love and affection, he may not necessarily be what it is that she needs. 
he's not necessarily a bad guy and I feel like that's how she feels which is why she gaslights herself because it's like he's not manipulative like my mom he's not trying to force anything he's not trying to make money off of me so why can't I love him but in reality she can't love him because he doesn't love himself yeah I almost feel like he just he probably monitors her but like in a way of like protection mode but it's really insecurity yeah she's not happy she's a runner what I say she's a runner but that's that's not shocking because of what she's been through. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that that gave me solace. I don't know how you guys feel because I was just like, oh, God, I hope she did not attract someone who who found her as like another, you know, money ticket, meal ticket. That's it. Thank you, Spirit. But no, no, he's just got a he's got a hero complex that is suffocating her um, but she's in a good place. Honestly, she's reflecting. She's healing. She's she's. Honestly, she's with the right person for right now, if that makes sense. I'm being drawn to my fluorite. It's reminding me of mental health. So, like, out of anybody that she could be with in this stage of her life, I'm kind of glad it's him because he's kind of, like, mushy. You know what I mean? And I think she, that she needs that. But eventually, I think she's going to get to a place where she's like, you know, I need my independence. I need to figure out who I am. I don't need that to include a spouse. You know what I mean? That's really healthy. I think she's very self-reflective. Honestly, as long as she keeps doing that work, I have high hopes for her. I think she's going to be okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a like. It really does support my channel. Comment down below um, what you guys think, if you could add anything to it, um, what you want to see in future videos. Although, put that in the community post because that will help me go back to it. But, as always, this is Elijah for Entertainment Purposes Only. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. All the links are down below. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, links are all down below. But I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. The Comic PM.